who does he think he is? I just told you who I thought I was. Ollie Oxen. I just told you. That's who I think I am. What up? Today we're going to try the first speed build that I've ever tried on this PC. Searched on YouTube. There's only like one or two videos of people doing speed builds. And I imagine that... There has to be some level of competition to it. Jay and Steve, they do LN2 comps. So this is my entry into the PC speed building competition space. I'll show you the layout that I have and show you how we're gonna judge what we're doing. So you can see I have all of my components laid out on the desk. We'll start by checking it out. On the case, we've got the NZXT H210. We've got a Corsair 550 watt ATX modular power supply. We have the ASRock B550M ITX board. I've got 16 gigs of ballistic RAM. I've got the SE914XT single tower cooler from ID Cooling. I got my screws, my motherboard screws, fans, and case screws. For the processor, we're using the Ryzen 3600. And we've got the mounting hardware for the cooler set out. Uh, GPU, we're gonna be using the GTX 1070. And for my different screws and screwdrivers, I'm gonna be using a standard long neck magnetic screwdriver, a smaller motorized screwdriver, and then my power drill. And also we've got fans and the fan for the cooler. I haven't really figured out the rules yet. I wanted to have one of those stop things that the cup stackers use, but couldn't find one. So far, the fastest that I've seen somebody build is nine minutes. Mind you, when they built it, they were taking things out of the box, but I think that components should not be touched as much as possible. So if the case itself has screws or a side panel, those things should be left attached because when the computer's working, those things are gonna be attached. So that's what we did today. The idea is for this first iteration, I'm going to focus more on the completion of the build itself, not necessarily the aesthetics, but how fast can I get the components together, put them in the case, close the case and have it functional. So the basic rules of how this is going to go, I'm going to have my phone out. Uh, I got a camera up top. It's going to be filming everything. And I also have a secondary camera to get some dynamic shots but the idea is to play it all the way through. I will switch back and forth between cameras, but I'm gonna try and make sure I put a counter that mimics the counter on my phone up. As a matter of fact, I might do a screen record on my phone just to have that on the screen and make it a little bit easier to follow. I press go on the computer, I mean, press go on my phone to the last component in the computer for it to be finished. So for me, finished is case completed, everything in there, and it's a functional computer when I press the power button. For the score to count, the computer needs to post. Post or it didn't happen, right? That doesn't factor into the time limit. My time limit is basically strictly building and the post will legitimize the time that whatever time I get from building all the components. Uh, if I miss something or you have an idea that can make this more valid, let me know. Uh, this class is gonna be ITX because it's an ITX case, it's an ITX motherboard, but I think classification should be based on the size of the motherboard, not necessarily the size of the case. This is an ITX speed bill to keep it simple. With all of the preamble out of the way, I think we'll get to the build. So let's see how I do. Ready, set, go. Start.
Game over. And the official time is 20 minutes, 26.82 seconds. Let's get it connected and let's see if we get, get past the post screen. Let's get you plugged in here. Okay. One, two, three. All right, that's a good sign. It turned on. Do we have post? Do we have post? Congratulations. All right, post screen is active. Everything is as it should be. So we did it, 20 minutes, 26 seconds. There were a lot of things I could have done better, but not mad about that. Personal best is part one. Uh, we're gonna work on improving, see if we can get that down to about, I think I can get about 14 minutes. So again, if you have any suggestions on how the rules can be tweaked to make it more standard across the board so that other people can try this challenge, please leave them in the comments, let me know. Maybe we can discuss and make this more formalized and send this out to anybody that thinks they can do this. I hope you liked it. If you did, consider leaving a like. Uh, definitely consider subscribing. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.